Morning. Here we are again at RMC Longfield, Foxpool. Got here late yesterday evening. Just me, Len, the cameraman, and my good friend Milky Bar Kid. Hold up. All right, Milko. All right, Mucker. Plant it there, mate. Any good then, mate? No, nothing yet, mate. I've had been round, had a look round in all the carpet spots. Nothing really showing, nothing in the margins. Not really much happening at my end, I'm afraid. <laughs> what about you? Oh, I had a little one, I lost a little one this morning, and I had that 30 pounder, which oh, uh, right. Len never got up for, I'll rub in. And, uh, <laughs> nothing since, mate, but we've got a few days, haven't we? So uh, yeah. I'm sure we'll have a few more. Yeah, there's plenty of time, time but the band to show up somewhere yeah, along the line. Will, mate, we're sticking these little bits about to get a few. Uh, they've been eating along the few little spots I've been baiting, but it's still a little bit there, so... It's only one night, isn't it, mate? Yeah. One night in. To have, had a, to have had a fish, you know, it, just for one of us to yeah, have had right. one to result in here, because it is quite a difficult little place, isn't it? I'll tell you what, girl, before we go any further, incidentally, it was on a little yellow pineapple boy, mate. They had one of them. So we'll, right. we'll cut now and we'll have a look at that 30 pounder this morning, mate. Yeah, fine. Right, here's one we had earlier this morning when our cameraman was still in bed. Um, for the purpose of the video, we've been allowed to sack them. Usually they're not allowed on here. But there you go. Early this morning we caught this one. I actually caught the fish last year on... Uh, we was doing some gardener videoing. For those who have seen that video, I'm sure you all have, hopefully. It was 28 pound, then it's my first 30 pound from this venue. And I'm well chuffed with it. And if it settles down, we'll show you. There she is at 30 pounds now. Well pleased, mate. Maybe Lenny get up next time. I also lost one. A little common early this morning and all. Lovely dark mirror. What a beautiful fish. Look at that. A little yellow pop-up. Superb, mate. Well chuffed. Right, I'll get her in a sling. And slot her back. 30 pounds exactly. There we go. There we go. And slot her back. Superb, mate. Are you getting that, Lint? Who's away, darling? Thank you very much. Nice fish, mate. Not that easy, really, to get them out, is it? Not really, mate. Like, uh, a lot of people will probably think it is, but it isn't, mate. It, it, it's a difficult mm. water. It's deep, it's clear. We've been on here a few years now, Gal, and you see people come and go. It's not easy, mate. No, you've got to give credit where it's due, isn't it? Well, really, still got to work from. Got to work from. People them. think, because it's been, like, five, six years, since the old fish went, yeah. and it's been restocked, they'd be fairly easy to catch. No, no, they learn quick, they don't they? They soon mate? wise up, well, don't they? they learn quick, mate, they learn quick. They soon know when you're sort of like in the swim, they know you're there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you look at the got... anglers that fished it years ago. I mean, it was hard, it was rock hard then. Yeah. Rock hard, to be fair to them. And, and these fish, although they've been in here five, six years, they've learned, you know, uh, there's 30 members and probably only five or six members a year catch a fish. You know, yes. so they don't, they don't take long to learn, mate, do they? And look at the, the fish when they're Walton. If not yeah. harder to catch you in here, aren't they? they? Are you know? now, aren't they? Initially, when they went in there, they were getting yanked about everywhere and they soon learned, didn't they? New environment for them. They soon wise up. What can you say? Well, like, you know, we touch on the stamp of angler that used to fish here. You know, you're Rob May, the infamous Rob May, the good famous anglers. five. Best in the country, mate. Best, you and know, they all struggled. Yeah, Some yeah, of them they even struggled, like, mate. Come here, caught one. That's all they caught. Yeah. And well, off they went. Richie done years. I mean, I know Richie caught a lot. Been doing a proper permanent delete. You got it. He didn't find it easy. You know, we spoke to Richie about it now, and, and it was no walkover. Yeah, he was here a lot. You know, and, and a top angler a lot of his full day. Full time, sort of like anglers on yeah, his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chrissy Ball. Weeks on end. Like. Chrissy Ball nicked a couple of things, and and yeah, and there lots, lots of good anglers, wasn't it, mate? Really yeah. pucker fishermen. Yeah. So. You know, they, yeah. they learn, mate, you know, and, and these are a difficult fish to catch still. You know, they're, they're growing and it's hard. It's hard again, like for most, it's hard. 
Well, it's certainly proving that way at the moment. It is. Right. It, it is, is in your me. swim. Yeah, it is in yeah, your swim. Then. We've got a few days, mate. I'm sure something will change. You're a bit lucky catching a 30 pounder there, aren't you? There ain't really that many in here. How many men are on then? Uh, I would say seven, eight. Yeah, possible. I think you're probably right, mate. Yeah, yeah, possible, yeah. yeah. But what do they go up to then? What's the best? What's the biggest one out yet? Uh, it's about 31 pound. Mm, they're only just but, making it, aren't they? Yeah, but they're going there, they mate. They get the bit of bait going in. Yeah. More bait goes. It's in. weird, really, because years ago, Gal, before we fished it, there was a gang of fish. Like I don't know how many there was. We'll probably be told, but it was about 10 fish that stood out. Mm. And it was like the Longfield A team, wasn't it? Well, this, although the fish are much smaller, they are growing. You've got like about 30 carp that are doing whatever they're doing, and you've got about 10 fish that we, we've had them all, basically between us, mate. And they're not like five to six pound heavier than anyone else, so it's sort of, it's sort of full circle again, isn't it? Yeah, it's gone back to how it was before, like and they the will bigger be, mirrors grow yeah, They will be whackers, mate, won't oh, they? They'll yeah, grow big ones, mate, yeah. Three, four years, they'll be all like. It'll be lumps hours. again, mate, yeah, it's the nature of the lake, and it's, it's two or three oh, times it's, it's had new ones, and they've all grown massive, like, you know, 40 pound fish, mate. Yeah. Weed and just the depth. It's just the lake, isn't it, mate? It's crystal clear, loads of grub in it, isn't it? Just how it was. But it is, it? yeah, it's, it's coming back to how it used to be, mate. You know, to say all them years ago, just a few fish grow, bolt through, didn't they? Like the rest, you know, about a leave all the other standing, mate. Well, then, and here's another one, mate. Noisy mate. buggers. All right, if you're on a gun on holiday. Yeah, well, this is holiday, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that too much. Well, of course, we've caught most of them and we've named a lot of the big ones. Yeah, we had the so, privilege of naming them, mate, didn't we? What have we got? We got, we got cluster, basil. which is about 31, mm -hmm. 32. We got the half linear, the anniversary fish. Little story there because I caught it two years running on the anniversary that I met my missus. What else we got in uh, the big ones? Number one. Number one fish, mate. There's about eight of them, isn't there? Um, basil, of course. We named it Basil. Dead ringer for the one out here. I've got a bit of footage of that actually. Paul had it a few years ago. Still a personal best for Paul, my partner. 24 pound on it. We've got a bit it's of footage a nice of that fish, one. That is. Oh, yeah, pucker, mate. Well, of course, I had it last, didn't I? What was it? About three three years ago? Mm -hmm. 28 and a half. Nice, it's mate. It's got to be quite big now. What do you reckon it goes now? Mm, I'll see you the other week, mate, in the snags. Don't know if I'll tell you. No, she, she, so, as far as I'm concerned, it's probably the biggest fish in the lake, although it hasn't been caught over 30 pounds. But um, she looks 34, 35, maybe. I hope we might hope, let's hopefully get here and, uh, and have a look like. But um, certainly looks to me to be the biggest fish in the lake at the moment. That's not bad, is it, really? Mm -hmm. Good gaining weight if it is sort of like that, mate. Well, they don't get fed with bait, do they? No. <laughs> I think right we're the only yeah. two that ever put any bait in, yeah. in, in the lake, aren't we? Everyone but, else um, reaps the benefit. Well, maybe that's why well, we've had a couple of results, like, you know. Yeah. So. Because that footage we've got to pull in that corner over there is in the winter, mate. You know, we, mm. we, we were brave enough, one of the few, sort of two of the few, one of the few, two of the few, brave enough to base it heavily in the winter because we saw a little hole there that no one was doing it and um, benefited massively, mate. How much bait do you reckon you put in then? Christ, we was coming over straight from the factory. We are using Mainline's Active 8, which is proven track record in the winter. Probably 5k in three different swims every third day, mate. It sounds a lot, doesn't it? But obviously it works. A lot, of, a lot of people are afraid. You've to done it. How many waters you done it on? I do it wherever I go. And in the winter. And in the winter, summer, whenever. Ice in the edge. It works. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, but, chili. Look at chili, mate. Yeah. He does it oh, it's, every um, week, mate. You know, he's out there doing it, and it, it does work. Colossal amount. He but in here they at it, mate. You know, the the, the, the three swims we done it, and all we done was sort of bounce around between the three swims uh, and we caught lo our first winter on him we caught loads of carp mate good ones yeah. you know and it was just brilliant mate yeah often it well it does work just being brave enough to do it that's you know, it baiting in the winter. most people in the winter little pop-ups pva bags but get in there big bag of boilies big catapult and have it Make feed them, them mate. It. keep them feeding I, I remember rightly um a couple of christmases ago you had a pretty good session on there yeah, we how did, many mate. exactly did you have we done, let me think, we've done 48 hours, the two of us, between Christmas uh, and the New Year. And it's always got a track record of doing the better fish in the lake in that little period. Don't know why, but it always has done, yeah, if you read the books way. about it. Well, mm. just the two of us here, mate, there was cat ice everywhere, it was horrible, and we had seven carp and lost one. You that's know, good and, for a winter. Uh, that's a good for a summer, are. mate. You know, uh, in a, oh, yeah. 40 hours in the summer, if you can get a bite, you've had a result, let alone seven. So it, the way we've done it, it paid off, girl, you know. It, it, 
they just kept eating it, mate. Cool tufties and all, though, but... <laughs> well, there you go, you know. You catch <laughs> them whenever, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, so, yeah, 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 so it doesn't matter, mate. You gonna let me know um, what you call this fish on this morning, or keep it a secret? <laughs> I don't know if I should, mate. Well, actually, <laughs> I've got one here that I prepared earlier. All right. Right. There well, you go, I'm mate. Having, I'm having Oh, yeah. Then. Oh, here yeah, now. Little pineapple pop-up, mate. Love them in here, don't they? They, they, they work so Brilliant, well. Mate. And it's just on. Uh, just a little version of, uh, what's well, a copy of Terry Earn's stiff rig. Works so well in here, mate, doesn't it? If I can just run through the components of that rig with you, what we've got is, this part here is 22 pound fluorocarbon with a fairly large loop on it. And the small section is, is made up of a size six ESP stiff rigger with a little elongated ESP D ring. And uh, this, is fifth, this is the main part, 15 pound stiff bristle ESP again. And um, that's the workings of it. It's the spinning, it, it spins all the way around. It's a complete radius. In theory, well not in theory, it works. As your fish, no matter where your fish touches it from, it will, it will spin around and it will grab him. Mega, mega rig. If I just put it in the edge there and show you from a carp's eye view, how's that? Now I'd hazard a guess that that actual rig We'll catch us one or two more during this. I'll just put it up there somewhere safe. Now for, the, for, the, for the basis of this video, what I'm going to be doing is adopting a static approach. Um, we're going to show two different styles of fishing. I'm going to be staying here, doing a bit of baiting, see if I can work and swim, get it going. Milko's going to be doing exactly what he does best, which is creeping around the edge, all the little, little spots, which is lots of them in here in the edge, so you get loads of that. Uh, so there'll be lots more riggy bits and bits and bobs later on. Plenty more to show you later. Well, anyway, that was my static approach, which is doing all right, I might add. How's your stalking been doing then, mate? Well, I did um, sneak one out from down the bottom there early this morning while you was uh, still asleep. There was a lot of them, No, I went round, like, faked a few spots up, got them going and whatever, sneaked back with my old mate Len. Oh, he's in on it, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> got, Superb. Got a rod and whatever, sneaked back round there, plopped it in. Got started to get I haven't actually seen it at the moment. Just lunging it now. Probably an upper double, a little mirror. It's not a mirror, it's common. Don't count then, mate. If no. I was in bed, it don't count. Oh, yeah. We've discussed this. No, 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 no. Well, well, let me get run back here because when I caught my whacker, yeah, this morning, my whacker, Len didn't get up for that one. So why is he up for your one? Because he was awake. How big was he, his fish? He was a mid 
mid dabble, 14, 15 pound, common. So he gets up for a little common? A fi the size is irrelevant. He gets up for a, a little fish, common a fish. and not a big, big mirror. Well, you should have woke him up. Oh, that's charming, isn't it, mate? That uh, is charming. So where'd you get her from anyway? Well done, mate. Um, well, I've been baiting a little spot down by the old snags down in the corner down there. Common corner, as they call it. Oh, yeah. And common corner, little common corner. Uh, Tiny mid common, corner. common corner. Yeah, mid-double common corner, yeah. And uh, they, they got on it, so went down there, plopped them in, and liners and whatever, and eventually it went. Fluke one? No, not fluke. Careful, good <laughs> angling. <laughs> Accurate presentation. Yeah. And um, how many more of these little spots you've got going I've in? I've got quite a few, like, dotted around the old lake that I've been baiting on a regular basis. I ain't having that, mate. So I've got to sit here doing nothing, which is my choice, I grant you, and you've got how many spots, how many, ch how many uh, swims, I, how many swims? I would count roughly about 12. All the little swims? Yeah, pretty good swims. Little yeah. common swims? Uh, no, they're going to be uh, big big fish swims. <laughs> oh, I don't think so, mate. But size is irrelevant. I'm That's what they pretty say. confident that I can catch some from like my designated areas that I've got baited somewhere around the lake. What about your main swim, where you've plotted up? Um, that's not too good at the moment. So you're going to be looking at shifting? I will be shifting, yeah. To? Uh, uh, probably common corner. Little common corner? For the, yeah, for the time corner. being, where I'm quite confident I can have one or two well, more. Well, let me tell you, Mr Gerd is not going anywhere Oh, to yeah. get anything of yours, mate. He's staying here with me no, all the me time and now. Me and no, Len have got this an is, understanding. This is Big Fish Corner, mate. You little comical. No, 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 no. You no. can carry him around here over your shoulder if you get any more out of that corner. No, I'm not. Oh, yes. Oh, that yes, shit mate. always dig me out and bring me down. <laughs> yeah. You know damn well. The last laugh. You will end up with the last laugh because every time we come here, you do, mate. So I'm going to relish in it while I can. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can. Up a get single, then, yeah? Uh, no. All right. How right, comes right. it's going down in weight? I didn't say it was going down. It's a little common corner. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm. I think I might have a move. Yeah, you got to go in there, haven't you? To be fair. I will. Yeah, I'm gonna gather up my gear and trundling it off around there. And well, hang on, I'll it'd be raining. That'd be well, nice. That's very nice. Isn't it? Yeah, that'd be sure nice. I'm soaking wet. <laughs> Just so I don't move. Gary, 12 spots. Is uh, he's going to get wet as he moves swimming? Well, there might be a few more dotted around. Yeah. I'm sure there is, mate. If I know you. I look. know you as I do. I'm sure there's loads dotted about. <laughs> don't worry about that. So anyway, what'd you get it on? Well, as uh, you was talking a bit earlier on, I um, borrowed this, and you were uh, <laughs> quite quite right. It did catch another fish. Tom, and it was a common. <laughs> from Little Common so, Corner? Yeah, from Common Corner, so well it deserved, served mate. me well, and you can have it. Well oh, deserved, mate. Yeah, I'm having that. <laughs> That's a good rig, that. Anyway, and whilst you was round here, glo well, round here gloating about your little 12-pound common, mm -hmm. um, let me just tell you, while you was playing your little, swinging your little common in, I was doing a bit of baiting up myself, yeah. baiting my static swim, Big Fish Corner. And uh, you marches in, didn't you? Yeah, well. Gloaty, gloaty, gloaty. Well, I made sure I got them back here by then, didn't I? Yeah, There's, you did. Yeah, well, we were watching, you mate. There was lots of fizzing, lots of ground bait out there, mate. Lots of fizzing over the area, mate. I think it was fairly obvious something was going to happen. Another reason it was obvious it was going to happen because we were getting loads of liners, mate, off of bigger fish. No, I'm little not commons that. can get in amongst them. They don't knock your lines, little commons, like in your corner. But uh, bigger fish, mate, bigger fish. And then uh, my turn then, wasn't it, mate, in the static swim? Yeah, static, yeah. Static, big fish corner swim, static. But I could have caught some more, obviously, but I you have didn't to come know, around here to drink tea and have my dinner because you oh, yeah, that's all right. You want to go fleeting around the lake, mate, so um, that's down um, to you. But, you um, know, in, in this corner, it's uh, we don't have to break for lunch, mate. You know what I mean? We're not like that, so bang, off goes one of the rods, as you know, mate, eh? Yes. <laughs> I think it was evident from the start it wasn't an £11 common, not your one. Well, the and, white um, fault, no. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so she darted into this corner here, mate, and there's a car, I don't know if you noticed this, from, and I saw it in Rob's book years ago, there's an upturned yep. car in the corner, which apparently he thought was a bar. Uh, no, cars and bars, yeah, fair enough. Knowing Rob. Nice. Anyway, she darted round here, mate, and it took ages. Because it, it was a better fish, obviously, it took ages and ages and ages. But we got her out, mate, and um, 
I thought we saw her down here, didn't it, to be good fair? Good fight, really. Good old round, mate. Really good old good. round, mate. Bigger fish, see. How long was yours? A couple of minutes? It thought it's hot at that oh, little time. I'm going to have to cut the video short to get this fight in, mate, because oh, really? it was so long. But yeah, nice fish, though, mate, all joking aside, wasn't it? A, a, a nice mirror, mate. Oh, beautiful. It's the mirrors. There's a few nice commons in it, but the mirrors are what you hope for, really, because there's more of them. And, um, and, bigger. and most of them are bigger than the little nine pound commons. <laughs> but. Lo and behold, up she pops, mate, a nice, a nice mirror, mate. And it's one I hadn't caught before, and I've caught quite no, a few of them out of here. Man, and I really? don't recall seeing it. You know, you get the odd ones that don't come out very often. Clean as a whistle, mate. And uh, turn out £25 odd. Nice That's fish, nice mate. Fish. So, another oh, better oh. fish. Number two, mate, eh? Superb. Cool, that was never going to fall out, mate. 25... 25... 14, I do. Another mirror, girl. Where did yours come from? Common corner? Remind me. Yeah, my little common. Yeah, little common corner, mate. Now, how can they fight so hard and they still beat you up on the bank? Sod. <laughs> still down here, mate. Look. Yeah, she's gone along the bank now. Well, can I say you've done me again? Well, it's not over yet, but you know, it, it's, it's, it's one horse race at the moment, I'm afraid, mate. Yeah. Little babies, yeah. My yeah. time will come. I don't know. Well chuffed with that, mate. I mean, it's working for me, Gal. I know uh, uh, your, yours will work, mate. You know it will. You know, you will have, have a few I've more been little putting, ones. Putting around in the swims, they're yeah. going to find it sooner yeah, or later. Yeah, yeah. Little baby. Been... You'll have a few more little baby ones, and uh, why, you know, it works. Why have I been targeting the little know. baby ones? It's just how it is. It's life, isn't it? All the little baby ones come out the edge, and uh, the big ones come out of, of the deep a bit, mate, with the loads of bait in it, mate. So... I have clocked where you've been putting your bait, don't worry. You... Well, you you might clocks. see me sneaking about off there. Um, see you sneaking about on. there earlier, mate. Just round the corner from me, mate. Is that one of your spots? Is it over there? It might, might well be. Yeah. So, anyway, you going to show us this rig you caught that one on, or <laughs> I don't know if I or should, mate. Any secret? I don't know if I should, mate. There you go. Little snowman one, this one, girl. Little pineapple pop up and sort of a, a, an unflavoured neutral fish meal bottom bait. So they just about, the silt in that corner is quite deep. Yeah. It's all black and smelly, but they get there, mate. And that just about sits on top of it, mate. And it, you know, it works, doesn't it? It's uh, the component, I've got to fly down, haven't I? Components are a little link swivel with a ring on it. The new Suffolk stuff, 25 pound. I don't know what, a stealth skin, a heavy skin, one of, one, you know, one of the little gang of, of plastic coated skins they got. A mugger, a gardener, soon to be released, a uh, mugger up. They're dangerously sharp, mate. And when you tie them up in this fashion with the ring on it, blowback style, no matter where you touch it, it comes out to meet you, mate. It, it's a devastating little setup. And uh, looks good. That's that, mate. You know, it, it, it does it. And that was so well looked in that fish. You could have played yeah. it for England, mate. It was never going to fall off, which, it, which is one of your big fears when you're. Playing certainly when you've got to give him a bit of well to get him away from a Cortina in the lake. But. <laughs> um, she got in, mate, and, and, and that's the setup there. Well, there you go. And while I make us a cup of tea, because I'm a bit parched, I'll hang that somewhere. So no, I don't think I'll hang it there, mate. I don't think I'll hang it there. Here's one. While Lem was round doing a bit of bait stuff with Milko, I plopped this one out. But I definitely won't be telling Gary about this one. This will be a surprise for him on a video, because I actually believe it's smaller than his little common. So we'll keep that one hidden. I'll plop him back, and we'll say no more. There you go. The secret common. Off she goes. Say no more. <laughs> While Milko's not around, we'll run through the bits and bobs that I'll be using on this trip. Baits and rigs. We covered rigs earlier, but there's a few bits I'd like to point out. Safety aspects, really. What I've been using is this lovely little bit of kit from a company called Armored. The problem with a lot of these clips is, when a, if you break off uh, and, and a fish does snag, the clip can, like that most of them, it'll run up and down your line freely. What this company have done is they've 
incorporated a little another clip inside that grabs your swivel. I might just show you that, a bit finicky, and then that closes over the top and snaps in. Now that is secure to your rig, so if it does snap off, which we hope it don't, and it tethers, the lead will, bye bye lead, it's gone. Another little thing with these is, I like using a lot of bags. With most lead clips you can't use bags because on impact with the, with the surface, the clip again will fly off up the line. With these, it will stay with it, so it stay, you know, you've got that, rather than your lead clip two foot away. So they are a double handy little bit of kit. So it's armor, it's called Lockjaw, it's from, it's from armor lead, brilliant bit of kit there. PVA bags, I just whipped a few of them up to show you. You see, you notice I've doubled and trebled them over. Reason for that is, where I'm actually fishing here is about 11 foot of water. Now, most people who single skin them, about mid, midway down, this is how I used to do it, you'd feel the lead accelerate where the, where the PVA bag had melted halfway down and you'd, you've not got a bag situation, you've just got a single hook bait with pellets scattered all over the place. Well, if you double it and treble it, it will make the bottom. Now, if it isn't making the bottom, as I say, you will know because the lead will accelerate down. And if you're doing it correctly, you're feeling your lead down, you'll know exactly what's going on there. That's the reason I double and treble my bags over. The other things we're using on here, just to run through it, is what we've been putting out is, is my own bit of kit here, a bit of a plug. Our new ready-mades, freezer range. We've been, I've been using them with a snowman rig, the little peach melba ones pineapple pop-ups on the top of them and a, and a 14 mil and a 12 mil pop-up just about just about sink so just another little for handy tip like you know it's, it's worth remembering all these little bits and pieces she'll sit up like that a little bit of pellet around it and it looks very good on the bottom should I say and here's a nice little tip for you just show you now one more bag not one in the bore you yeah? bit of pellet grab a bit of your dissolving floating foam Squeeze it into your bag, like so, if you can actually get it in there without spilling it all. Purpose of this is, if you're fishing over silty bed of the lake, stuff that in there, the bag will stay up. It's buoyant, obviously, so it stays up proud off the bottom till it starts to dissolve, and then it will settle on the silt rather than bang into it. And the second point of doing this is, then all your foam floats to the surface giving you a marker so you can accurately fire your baits out. And the third good bit about this is, it also gives you somewhere, nice and soft, to put your hook into. So that's how she'll set up, and then it will gradually sink down at the bottom, the foam will come up, got a marker, so that's three good little reasons to stuff a bit of foam in your bag. Top tip. And what I'm gonna try later is, I've got some of these new feeders from the lads at Calder. Now these are fantastic because a lot, with a lot of feeders, they'll just bonk on the bed of the lake. You've pushed your pop-up in there. Don't matter where it lands, you pop up. All right, it's an extreme, but your, your hook bait could be underneath it. And although they roll it about and all that, it's still not an ideal situation. So with these ones, they're weighted. Now it can only land, the weight will be down all the time, whether it's that way or that way, it cannot land that way. So if you, once you've loaded your ball of method, just remember where your weight is, push it in that side and then it will always sit proud. Your bait will always be up to the side, but it will not be buried, okay? And when they knock the ball about, it will find its own, the weight will find itself again and it won't roll over and, and bury your up bait. Brilliant another product from, from Calder. Right, I'll just load that up for you. Just try, just try and remember which bit's got the lead on it. There you go, it is the one at the bottom. And we just plop him in there like that. Mould it about a little bit. Just firms it up a bit. And that is your finished calder feeder, which are brilliant. They're an excellent feeder. Best around as far as I'm concerned. And that, this evening, I'm going to plop in a little tiny margin spot that my old mate Milky don't know about. We'll see. Thank you. Well, here we are on the last afternoon of the week. Going home in a few hours time. 
um, bring you up to speed as to what's gone on since. How have you been getting on, Cal? What's going on? Well, obviously I had that little common... The tiny one? The, no, the mid-double common, I stalked out the edge oh, over right, there. Oh, right, yeah. There was a few fish up there, yeah. so I thought, well, rather than sit where I am, I'd move up there. So there's obviously a lot more fish up there than where I was. Yeah, and it paid and off. It paid off, yeah. The lovely 23 pound dark black mirror, which I was well chuffed. And straight A off, mirror? Yeah, a mirror. <laughs> Actually, a mirror out of a little common corner. <laughs> Spades up, mate. Full its heart out. Yeah. It did. 23 pounder. Lovely, yeah. mate. Hooked it, went straight out in the middle of the lake. As it happens, everywhere. that was actually, if, if I remember rightly, that was probably your first one ever out of here and all, wasn't it, a couple of years ago? Uh, I think that. Yeah, you're probably right, yeah. I think out it might have been certainly one of your first. It's called the uh, Noddies, wasn't it? The Noddies, yeah. Which is quite noddies. right for me, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know really? about that. I don't know about that, mate. <laughs> Stump is actually more dangerous than chopped down, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, go. Did you get that? Gal! <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? You didn't get that. <laughs> nah. <laughs> They wouldn't have got that. Ian's rig again. <laughs> yeah, yeah sneaky sorry. I think I've got a wet foot. Good. Should be about 25. No. 23. You on that, Len? Small mirror corner, mate. <laughs> top, top man. Phone. Top man, mate. Well, I think you always my friend, yeah? A bit heavier than me common, but <laughs> still nice. About 20 pound heavier, if I remember <laughs> rightly, yeah? <laughs> Same spot. Uh, yep. Yeah. Black, mate, I know. I like the colour of the bottoms. Mm. Oh. He's got a great big scale on his left shoulder, yeah. What, how you been getting around there? What you been doing? Basically, do you know that uh, rig I nicked off you? Huh. I've, I've changed contraband. it a bit. Yeah. I changed it. Where you use like the uh, loop on your line? Yeah. I put a swivel with a little ring. Oh, what on the boom section? On the, the boom the stiff, section. The stiffer yeah. section. Yeah. Just it's well, it's home prefer preferential. Just confidence it is, in it, yeah. really. I, the way I'm thinking of it, it's less knots. Yeah. For it to snap yeah, enough, or yeah. come undone. 
And yeah, I mean, I've only, I, I use the loop because I've always used the loop, as you know, yeah. since, since our airfield days together. But it's um, nothing wrong with moving, changing things about, oh, is so it? It could be a bit stronger. It, it, it just might not be, but it's the way I think. Confidence. Back, Confidence, yeah. yeah. And Conf it, it worked. I do the same as you. Around the swivel, tiny little bit of putty. Yeah. Just to really critically balance it. I think you have to, don't you? Because if you, if you pop it in the edge, the critically balanced thing actually helps it. Yeah, it just come down very slowly. It falls, it away, just, falls away from your lead and that, doesn't it? Yeah, it there's you... these right, slight bits of weed or yeah. silt there. Yeah, it just, just allows for it all, doesn't it? Just sits on top. Yeah, what's on the business end then? What's the little what's squidgy the, ball? What, the bait? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, it's a uh, mainline high vis pineapple pop up. Oh, I like a bit of pineapple, isn't it? Oh, well, yes, yeah. <laughs> Going on what you had yours on, yeah, really. it's fair. They love it in here, mate. We've caught so many over the years yeah. on them, haven't we? But uh, Kev's and mine, you know what I mean? It, they, they just work, don't they? Yeah, pineapples, pineapple, yeah, 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 yeah. They all do the business, mate. And what, what about your bags? Well, the PVA bags, yeah, you've been what? putting them. Oh, you found out about that, did you? Mm -hmm. Um, I've been using response pellet in them, just tiny little bags, different to what you are. I use these solid bags, yeah, uh, instead of like the mesh bags. That yeah, you I love use, the mesh ones, it? don't I? No, just putting a handful of them, pricking it with the old baiting needle so it goes down just as well. What flavour on the pellet soak? Does that make a difference, do you think? No, no, just no any pellets, at all. really. As long as they've got a bit of pellet You do like the response there. ones, though, don't you? Yeah, Rather they than the give you a little bit of edge and yeah. trout them. The smell, really. Oh, it's everyone's on own. trout, isn't they? Yeah, they're easier to get hold of. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. as dear. If you ain't got a lot of money, they're cheaper. Yeah, fair enough, mate, isn't it? So... And there's one other setup. Oh no, before we do that, oh, I don't know if I should mention your little bit of unluckiness a couple of hours after your fish. Well, yeah, it, it went off again, didn't it? Same rod. Yeah. Pineapple, pop up, off it went, pulled into it, going well, just oop, oop pulled. One that of happens things. on here, though, doesn't it? We've noticed that on here. A lot, I think it could have been one of the small commons. It again. could have been a little, well, all joking aside, a lot of the small commons in here have got dodgy sort of mouths, aren't they? Yeah, From the lake, mouths. they were the, the stopped in prior to this one, and they haven't grown, they're stunted little fish. And yeah. they give you a lot, I mean, we've both had takes that are up and up and down, and you lift into nothing. Yeah, you yeah, know, a lot yeah. of them are down to that, I think. you got to put it down to things like that. It's life, isn't it, really? Was, when you caught the baby common, was it well hooked? Yes. Did it have a manky god? I, well, put it this way, I don't know how it got the body in its mouth. Oh, so it was also yeah. a man, yeah, most it of them are, I'm sure there's like a dozen or more that are all, they're all the same sort of size, aren't they? Yeah, they all come from the same place, didn't they? Yeah, we so, won't mention, but they definitely all come from the same lake and in the same consignment that filled the lake up after the netting, wasn't it? Yeah, which is... What else you done then? What else uh, on the other I was, one? I was also trying a, a maggot rig. Yeah. Which was working quite well. Yeah. Up until I used it on here and... <laughs> You've had a blinding winter on that, haven't you, to I've be fair, little rig? I've caught a lot of fish on that in the winter, when nothing else will catch the yeah. fish. But you got a good chance of maggot. How'd you set that one up then? Well, basically, you, you get um, a thin piece of nylon line, yeah. around two pounds. You get the maggots, fed about 15 of them up, yeah. up the line. Then you can either use a bit of uh, fox rig foam or... <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm like, because it's very similar to the one I use. You know, they are, aren't they? Yeah, do the new rubber maggots. Yeah. Fed all two of them on. That's enough, is it? So two of them on, then another 15 maggots. Yeah. Tie the two ends together so it yeah. brings it into a tiny little ball. Yeah. And then you got your normal basic D ring. Yeah. Tie it onto the ring, nice and tight. And what material are you using for your link though? Uh, subterfuge from Gardner. Oh, like a lot of fluorocarbon yeah, stuff, is it? Yeah, fluorocarbon. Yeah. Oh, that's alright because that's really it's stiff. It's fairly yeah, yeah. stiff. It's not as stiff as some gear, but it's stiff enough. Yeah. And do you loop the end of that, or do you put that on no, a swing rivel? Just, just on a, uh, normal, oh, a swing rivel, a, a, a swivel with a ring on it. Yeah. No, no, just a normal swivel. Just bang on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just so it's a different. bolt standard D ring. Just a, 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 a no complication little D yeah, rig, then, isn't it? Nothing hard or nothing. And has that bought any bites? It did get me a bite. If we don't bite, know, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, it did get me a bite, but there again, it, it fell off. Little comma corner. Pays you off again, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, it's just one of them things. I'm getting a bit of bad luck at the moment. Yeah, you, you've hit him, mate. I mean, uh, to be fair, um, with, with my condition with all this hospital malarkey, you chose to stalk the lake, and, and ordinarily, girl, I'd expect you to catch a lot more, mate. Yeah, you know, well, that's I how the lake fishes, that, mate. No. You know, to be like, fair. 
I've sat on a bed of bait, which doesn't usually work in this lake, but uh, everything this week, well, you made me laugh, everything this week though has just fell, in my, it's fell on me, and it? you know, the weather's turned against you. Yeah, the wind's pushed up this and area. And our favourite little birdies arrived, didn't they? Oh, then things, the Queen's Gods. Yeah, yeah, the Queen's Guardians, mate. Well, yeah. they've wiped out everything. You, you took every, three days to prepare, haven't they, to be every fair? Every time I put bait in there, put the rods in there, they've sussed it and yeah. come along and wiped me out. And, and it's strange on this one, because I've watched the carp, as you have. Carp don't like the swans. They're really spooky, aren't they? They seem to be in this lake, yeah. But That's strange, isn't it? Most it is. waters, they don't bother them, don't they? They're in amongst them, eating the bread and, and everything. Coots and things like that. Yeah. They're really spooky, aren't they? I mean, these are these ain't a walkover. We said that earlier. They they really are skittish fish, aren't they? They're, yeah, and they're off, day, mate. Shadows and they're off, mate. One day they put up with you. The following day they just don't yeah. want to be well, anywhere I mean, near you. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, it's, I mean, yesterday yesterday morning, this corner was empty, as you know. There was yeah, nothing there was here at all, up, mate. Yeah, nothing all at all. It was all up that end, end mate. Uh, and the swans, because it's shallower at your end and at your your spots. I think they drew them up here, mate. Because by late morning yesterday, as you know. Was oh, all almost everything in the lake was in this corner, wasn't it? And I couldn't get near them. And you can't cast that far with your margin stuff. Yeah, but luckily for me, you I was here, swim mate. I yeah. be in. But we had a little. I mean, it was quite sunny yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. And the breeze was also, I think, carrying them down here. But we had a little go. Me and Len there was was having a little mooch about here, and we had a go on the top. I had a go oh. on the top with Len here. Uh, we didn't feed chum, which on here you can get them going like that. You know, the swans again followed them up, mate. Drove them further into the snags. I tried a bit of bread on the top. No way, mate. I was even pulling that away from the swans, and it's plastic bread. You know what I mean? <laughs> These birds are right intelligent. Uh, and I, you know. But uh, in the end, I gave up because I, fe I felt I was going to spook the fish. Yes, yeah, fair Probably enough. back down to you. And I didn't want to do that, you know what I mean? So, um, oh, it's snidiness. But it is, yeah. I mean, it's wiped you out. Yeah, you know, oh, all side, the stalking is, is, is mega on this lake, and, it's, and it, they brought them down to me. And I sneaked round there in the middle of the afternoon yesterday and I was watching them. Len was actually watching the rods. And um, there was like five or six 30 pound fish in there. You know what I mean? All the biggest had arrived. All, all the big known fish, And certainly fish, yeah. the biggest fish was one we talked about the other day. It looked oh. a, a, like a couple of pound heavy than most things. Because you know, they're not whackers in here yet, but they're getting there. Basil, mate. Which oh, you were the last one to get, friend. mate. Yeah, you were the last one to get him, mate. And, and That's a pucker it, it fish, worked, that is. Oh, it worked out pucker, mate. I mean, I rushed back here with Len and said, oh, how good would that be? Like, you know, uh, uh, we've already had a good fish, but it doesn't matter. That would be nice to get in because he ain't been outrageous and I really want to catch that carp. I mean, you've had no, it. No, you want to catch it bigger than me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. Then, fair enough. But right. most yeah. of the members have had it and I've been unlucky with that one and I, you know what I mean? Um, my first year I caught it at 20 pounds, but she's grown leaps and bounds, cool, you know yeah. what I mean? So What's that, in about four, five years? I think I caught it about six years ago at 20 pounds, five years ago, and mm. now, you know, she looked, it just looks big, it's a big fish, a lovely fish and all, it? 20 minutes we're sitting here with Len, and it's popping and fizzing over, and it, bearing in mind it's still quite sunny, so I don't expect to get a bite, popping and fizzing over the area, the odd little bubble, and off it ramps, mate. Lifts into that, Len skips around getting his camera going, mate. We actually missed the take, but that's, it doesn't really matter. But straight from the off, it was obviously one of the group of the better ones, right? You know, one of the little about. commons or anything. It was, uh, it was a better fish. No, it was a better fish. You know, they're heavy, girl, weren't they? They yeah, don't move fast. Plod all around, didn't they? Plod around, around mate. She was fairly easy to get out of the corner. You know, with that one, actually, I, I, I use it differently. The first three or four takes I've had here, I've side hauled them like to try and get, and they've caught it into the corner. With this one, I actually lifted her up over the trees and give it loads up, and the, the fish come straight out of the corner. But she plodded about here, I don't know, best part of five minutes before we even saw it, and you knew, you know, it wasn't <laughs> sipping, it was going to be a good one. And when it hit the top, all I could say to Len was, oh, it's a mirror, and it's quite a good one. It's still Not a little common. Well, I didn't, I still didn't obviously realise which particular fish it was, but it was a, it was a big fish, you know, and. Um, she rolled in, mate. She rolled in, and it turns out, yeah, it was, it was basil, which was fan And what's even better is I'm fairly sure while we were surface fishing, I think Len got footage of that particular fish like three hours prior sitting to this, top. sitting on the top, mate, you know, having a look at the old bread and all that lot. So, fantastic. Let's mirror this one, Len. Very nice mirror this one. There she is, mate.
and dry top. Oh, it's quite a big fish that one, Lenny boy. A pretty big fish that one. I bet he's still a kid boy. Woohoo! Milky ain't shown all afternoon. Been going around these little spots. And I think he's probably still in the land north or visiting the edge. But this is a fish we call basil. And I was watching this above the baited area about 20 minutes ago. And he is almost certainly one of the best fish in the lake. The heaviest, should we say. And he looks it. Let's get rid of this net. I'll let you again, Mr. Gerd. Read the scout on this one. You would. Is she over the mark? 32.12. How much? 32.12. Chop oh, man, mate. Yeah, well, that's a new lake record. There you go. First time he's been out for about three years, mate. That is superb. And that is why we call it Basil. A little row here, the tail end of the fish, because she looks like it. And what I might do there is give Milko a ring to get some pictures of this because it's a bit of a special one. I definitely will. I'll get a sack out and plop him in the edge for 10 minutes. Okay, Toby. If it hadn't been such a big one, I'd have left you asleep. Because I know you were doing something, I don't know uh, what you were doing, man. You well, were sneezing yeah, away. Yeah. But because I know you'd want to see it, mate, and we strung her up and. 32.12, I mean, it's probably a couple of pounds slightly lighter than what both you and I actually thought she'd be. Oh, I... But it's a mega fish, mate. Seeing it, I would have thought about 34. It's a mega fish, and it's 35. a beautiful carp. Absolutely immaculate. Well, I gave in in the end, and I went and got old Milko. He was a kip. Nice afternoon for it, anyway. But there you are. I know Gary's had this fish before, 28 or so. I know he wanted to see it. That's one we call Basil. 32 pound, 12 ounces. Yet again, Little pineapple job, mate. Hooked so well, you could have played that all around the coast of England and it was never going to fall off. And that is, is a real special moment for me. It's my second 30 from the lake and I've wanted to catch this fish for a long time. I've seen Milky with it. You've seen it on the video with Paul. There you go. You know, now I've caught it and it's a new lake record, which is irrelevant really, but it's a really special fish for me. Love it, mate. I'll spin that round. <laughs> Milk is still awake. Only just. It's a very big fish, mate, and a lovely carp. Beautiful. Brings back memories. Love your yellow pineapple, mate. When was it you had it, girl? Because I think you had it last. Two and a half years ago. Yeah. Two and a half, three I did say that. I'm, sh I'm sure it was two and a half, three years. She doesn't come out often. But it's put on a lot, so it eats Four it. Four pounds. Gets gets it and it gets away with it mate doesn't it? It's a crafty one this one. Sorry for waking you up girl. So I'll go back to sleep. <laughs> that is beautiful mate. And that, Lenny boy, is the business end of Basil mate. Come on down. Spin the side back end round a bit here. No, the other way. Thirty-two, twelve. Mega, mega mirror. She's away. She's going. No, she's not. There she goes. Biggest in the lake. At the moment. Come on! At the moment. At the moment, mate. Biggest we know of. And there you go, mate. Basil, magnificent, isn't it? Yeah. Puck a car, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, nice it's fish. been, you know, to, to, for, for you and I to have fished here for whatever, five, six, I don't know how many years, and there, there have been scraper thirties, you know what I mean, because they're not fast growers at the moment. To get, for me personally, to get two gal in a week, it's, it's, a, massive, it's a mega result. It's really lucky yeah. to have got two fish of that weight, and it, because there are so many more in here that are not that weight, mate, and it? So it has oh, been no. very lucky, mate. You know, let's, we, we'll touch on that. that it, it's not down at good angling, the fact I've had 
two 30 pound fish that they've it's turned up and the they've fish been caught, mate. You've caught them. So surmise a week, mate. You know, it, it, it's paid off for me to sit on me on me fat one. On your yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> on me fat one and and stick in you know a bit of bait and that. And I, I honestly think yeah, you've been so unlucky, mate. I really I'm, do. Like you know, I would have think I would have caught more if. Well, if you how many years we fished more. together? Ten, ten or more years. Yeah. yeah. Since I was about twelve, ten or more years. And um, you've always stuffed me with your stalking, you know what I mean? Because you well, do it better. I thought I'd better let you win one. Yeah, that's very good of you, mate. But yeah, I don't, it wasn't down to you or me. It was down to the weather and the swans. Weather. You know, a lot's gone against you, mate, and it? So it, it's gone against you. can't blame the swans. You can't, but it's just one of them things. It works. But it's been. It works. It's been a puck a week, hasn't it? Yeah, I've caught a few fish, so I'm happy. And what about Len? Ah. Next time he turns up, how big was that packet of biscuits? <laughs> And how big was ours? Yeah, it's. And how tight's he? That yeah, tight. Yeah, if there's Comes something smarter than we it's Lenny's eat biscuits. It's all our food. <laughs> oh, Scott, my bet he's put on a stone. More than that common in your corner. Nah, nothing wrong with that common, mate. <laughs> that, that was 15 pound ish, that. Yeah. Well, you say 15 pound, girl. Yeah. And actually, right, I didn't tell you. We weren't going to tell you, right? It was going to be a surprise. I had a little common yesterday and all. <laughs> I don't know, I know, we weren't, because it's... You it's, kept it from me? I did keep it from you, mate. We was going to start it in as a surprise, but I had a little common. How big, then? Well, I reckon it was probably £15 bigger than yours. 30... £30? <laughs> so, you call I don't know little. where you get this £30 from. I reckon my common what? weighed £21. Yours weren't Mine 15 weren't £5. Pound. Pound. No, 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 Gal. This was, I reckon, you know, we, we both caught nice fish in our lives, right? This was £15 bigger than yours, mate. No, I'm not having that. that £16, my... pound, is it, happens? No, 14. No, no. It was 21, 5, 16 pounds. It was bigger than your one, mate. No, no, I'm not having... Look, mine was between I 14 and 15 I was watching you pounds, without so common. I know we are on so about it. Cross the lane. Len. Len like that. is my... Oh, biscuit Len. Yeah, yeah all right. Biscuit, I trust him, yeah. don't I? Yeah, all well, right. Well, you should but, do. What, with wide-angled lenses? Yeah, but the thing is, ah. how much bait did you put in here to make that up? Oh, oh I, I see. You put about so, because you put little bags in, in being Mr. Tito. I'm not tight. How I'm many just kilos? Feed 400 kilos. 400 kilos? You. I'll be able to eat throws gone, mate. Eat throws baits ever gone. I pre baited this with about a kilo of boilies. No, 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 I know you're fibbing. Kilo of boilies, about 10 kg ground, but two weeks. You five minutes down the road. No, you know me better than How many years? How many years? You pop in here day in, day out, putting about 10. No, five, no, no, no. ten kilo in there. So you're Mr. Tighty. And then come out with a bag. little excuse that yeah. you've had an hospital operation. Did you operation. get them bags in the same supermarket as Len's Biscuits? Uh, probably. Yeah, tiny little but bags I'm, in. I'm yeah. stalking, fishing for a fish. Which one was that then, the little one? No, me 15 pound. You common. targeted a five pounder? No, 15. A tadpole? Yeah, but I don't... Yeah, but you <laughs> want to call all your fish at that weight if you had to put so much bait <laughs> in. Big fish corners become big fish corner because, because I put the in amount of bait. a kilo a day. No, not a kilo. A no. kilo a day. No, not having it. <laughs> you have a bet on it. <laughs> have a bet on it. Well, we can't because I didn't see your fish. Yeah, but Len did. Yeah, I know. Biscuit Len, no chance, mate. No, me and Len are like that. <laughs> yeah, he too lie. much, mate. Too much, mate. <laughs> I'm having to sit down because two weeks ago I had a hernia operation <laughs> and it's long drawn out rows with fish so it'll give me a little bit of a sore belly. So, uh, no problems. It would have been nice to catch some fish this week but give in straight away but that ain't half the fun. Isn't it?
It's the most unorthodox way of playing a fish I've ever known in my life, mate, but in the bag she's gone. Lovely jabby, mate, that weren't ever going to fall off. Superb. Just as well Paul's turned up with a bait delivery to do the pictures. But we've sworn him to secrecy from the Milko. And that is a really nice fish. Look the colours on that. Lots of change this afternoon in this swim. The wind swung into it. It's bought about 25 or 30 fish that are sitting just off the bank over there in amongst the branches just above the bait and this is the first one that's ramped off so with luck we'll slaughter Milky. We'll see mate. We'll see. And what we'll do Mr Gerd, because Gary still hasn't looked old Milky boy, we'll, uh, we'll keep this one up our sleeve until the end. And there we go. Let's put him down here. That is one stunning fish, mate. There's a fish's eye view that we spoke about on the rigs, and she's off, mate, between your top man. God bless you, Mr. Common. Well, there you go. Look, what we'll end on is we'll call this big common corner, big common corner, and that little common corner. Uh, call it what you want, then. <laughs> Had the last laugh then, Russell. You didn't know about this one, did you? Well, it looks like we're gonna have to call it Little Miracle then, don't we? <laughs> <laughs>